Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to install Jupyter Notebook on Anaconda in Mac. If you want to install only Jupyter Notebook without Anaconda installing in your Mac, so click on the i button and you will find the link to the another video where I have shown how to install Jupyter Notebook without Anaconda. But in this video, we will be doing this Jupyter Notebook installation along with Anaconda. So there are multiple ways to install Anaconda in your MacBook. So the first one is you just need to go to Google and type Anaconda and it will show you the Anaconda website in the first result. Just open the website, click on the free download on the right top here. It will ask you for your email. You can just skip the registration and download Anaconda for Mac. If you are using any Windows machine, it will ask you to download for Windows or you can check the Windows version and everything here as well. So I'll be downloading for Mac and even for downloading for Mac, you need to download the right one. So I am using the Apple Silicon in my Mac. So I'll be downloading this. But in case if we have Intel chip in our Mac, you can download the other one. So I'll just click on this. So it's going to start the download for you and it's like around 700 MB file. It should complete in couple of minutes. So the download is complete. Once the download is complete, you can just open this package and it will ask you to allow for installation. Just click on allow and it will just show you the steps and you just need to click on continue. And then you look at this readme file and it's going to install all these libraries to support this Anaconda package. Click on continue and then accept the terms and conditions agree and you can select the destination if you want to install for everyone using this computer you can select this and if you want to install on a specific disk you can select this and select the disk where you want to install so i'll just install for all the users in this computer it's going to take four and a half gp of space on my computer and i'll just install on a default location just type your password it will take around two three minutes for completion So the installation is now complete. You can just click on continue and close this. And uh, if you want, you can move the installer to the bin because the installation is complete. You don't need this package file again. So just move this to bin. So as the installation is complete, you should be able to find uh, your Anaconda in your launch pad. So you can just search here for Anaconda Navigator and open this and it's opening and it will open something like a web browser which has all the anaconda related applications so it will have jupyter notebook spider pycharm and all the stuff inside it so this is how it looks like when you open it for the first time this one you can click on remind me later or no don't show again it will show whenever there is an update for this anaconda application you can update or you can just skip it i'll just tell no don't show it again and uh, if you want to connect to a repository or sign in, you can sign in or if you can sign up also. But if you don't want to sign up, you can just close this. So this is the entire list of tools that are available in Anaconda. You can install any of these tools. So for now, I am looking to launch this Jupyter Notebook. So all this application which shows the launch are already available. And for applications, it will show something like install. These applications, you can click on install and this will be installed in your Anaconda. But for now, I need this uh, Jupyter Notebook. I'll just click on launch. So when you click on launch, it will open this terminal. And from this terminal, it will redirect you to the default web browser. So I am using Chrome as my default web browser. And it will show this Jupyter here. So you can click on any of this project. And you can create a new folder here as well. I will say Jupyter. And inside this Jupyter, I can create a new python code or a terminal or console or anything so i'll just say i want to create a new python file so it will open this jupyter notebook and this is a cell inside a jupyter notebook and inside the cell you can write anything so you can use shift plus return to execute this shell so once this shell is executed it will print this hello world and here you can also change the kernel for your shell currently it's python in the conda environment you can make it no kernel or you can change the kernel so currently i am just using this python kernel for saving this you can just type ctrl s or command s to save and this will get saved and if you close this and open this again it will open from where it is closed so let's say that i am adding some line here and if I'm closing this without saving, if I just leave it without saving and open this again, you might not be able to get what you have typed here. So to keep track of all the changes that you have done, don't forget to save. You can use command S 
or you can open this file and save notebook or you can use save notebook as to save it with a different name for closing this you can just close this window and close this window as well you can just use ctrl c to manually shut down this and select yes it will close your uh, jupyter notebook from the terminal so this is how you install and use jupyter notebook along with anaconda in mac